Hey everybody. So this is like gonna be a part two to the coffee mug that we made. And I just wanted to show you guys how it turned out after it's off the turner. I really like it. It's got a little bit of a glitter to it. I don't know if you guys can see with the light or not. <clears throat> but it's it's really nice. Um, so that's the bottom. So today I'm going to um, do a little sanding, just a little touch up on the bottom right here, just on the edge. A little bit on the handle and the dogs are gonna play entertain you guys and then I have um, uh, a vinyl decal that I'm gonna put on it that my daughter picked out so I'm gonna um, weave that and then we're gonna put some hummingbirds um, on it I'm gonna take 220 sandpaper and I'm just gonna buff it up a little bit around the rim right here with this just to make sure it's smooth because people will be drinking from the rim. So I'm just doing a little buffing. I mean, if you see, I'm doing just very, very little. It's really not even rough. I'm just touching it up just to give me that closure that I did it. Okay, <clears throat> so. We're gonna go ahead and start um, weeding this so we can get it applied. Let's get started. Every single one of these off on camera, but that's what it's gonna look like when I'm done. Very pretty. Now these have been cut out. Nice little cute hummingbirds. All right, now we're gonna do our vinyl. So I kind of discovered something and you guys probably have already discovered it yourself, I don't know. But if you take just very little baby powder or whatever powder you have and rub it on here. You know, I have this light Look, I have a light, but for black vinyl, it won't come through. And it's very hard to see. Like literally, it's hard to see. So, I got dust on one of my vinyls one time by accident after I had, I don't even know what I was doing. I think I was like uh, doing a cup or something. Anyways, and it got on there and then I was like, wow. I can see my vinyl. So I wanted to share this little thing that I discovered. Um, use baby powder, very, very little, tiny little bit, and you just rub it on there and it highlights the words so you can read it so you're not sitting here straining. And it doesn't affect the vinyl, doesn't do anything to the vinyl, it wipes right off. I mean, literally, it will not even be there when you put it on your cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and weed this. I'm going to show you how simple it is because I can see each each letter. I mean, look at that. Normally, I'm like trying to get the light in the position so that I can see each word. This is just helping so, so much. I mean, look at this. I mean, you guys can see it. That's so hopefully this helps somebody else because I know like our eyes can play tricks on us and then we'll forget like a letter or a dot or something. So now that we know this little trick, um, hopefully it will help someone else. And I mean, if you already know this trick, share it with people because making these tumblers and having to do all this weeding does not make it's not easy it, it can be strenuous on your eyes and even your your hands 
for anybody who has like arthritis that does okay so on this part i am going through each letter and getting any of the little bit of vinyl that is in the center of each um each letter like the p and the r so you very carefully just weed it out of there uh press everything back down and we go to the next step all right so now we have that weeded this is going to go right here on the cup I'm pressing really good to make sure it gets all on my sticky paper. And then I usually just start and just roll it off. Don't lift, just roll it. Makes it so much easier. Look at this. And then if you get a spot that doesn't come off, just press down and roll. Look, look how easy. Just roll it. And if there's a piece that comes up with it, you just press it back down and just continue to roll. Very good. <clears throat> All right, and then we're going to find our center part, which is more this direction. I'm going to put it like right in the center. All right, and then you're going to press in the center, come down, and then just evenly just press. And then go to the other side and do the same thing. Just give it a nice press. Each letter design. All right, now we're gonna come up here and we're gonna start peeling. Don't peel, don't pull it up. Peel just along the cup, just like this. Oh, look. Well, I don't think that belongs anywhere, so I guess it's just a little piece that got stuck in there. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. And then I'm gonna go back and just kind of press little areas that may be creased or lifted. Only the best grandmas get promoted to great grandmas. So this is a Valentine gift to my husband's grandma from my daughter. All right, that is super cute. I like it. All right, now we're gonna figure out how we wanna place. I'm thinking like along this. And then, I mean, you can put these all over the cup because look, let me move this. So this is red, but this is gonna pop right through that. So you can have it doing or wherever you want. All right, so <clears throat> get a paper towel. And use. All right, so let's go ahead and just start with one of these. So 
So I have water here. And we're just gonna dip that one. Let's do two, let's just do two at a time. Just let it soak a minute. So I'm thinking about putting one right here and then maybe maybe one up here, maybe like that, and then put the rest kind of on the cup everywhere. Let's see. See if I did two like this, that would kind of do like a highlight for the wording. I don't know. It'll come to me once I get it on there. Very cute though. All right, let's see if the first one we put in there. So I'm gonna wet the little area that I put it. Let's see if it's loose yet. Eh, little, couple more minutes, couple more minutes. Hmm. Few more minutes. So I have noticed the white water slide um, it takes a little more soaking than as if you're doing the clear. The clear, you a few minutes and you're done. But this one, I noticed that it needs to soak just a little, little more time. And then if any little piece, because I have a feeling that this piece might break off the beak, you can piece it back on. No worries. Yeah, see how it's, because it's so fragile such a small little area. All right, so we're gonna do it like this. That's what I was afraid of. But that's okay, because I'm gonna piece it back together. Everything is on the cup. We're gonna go ahead and start applying our epoxy. So I am doing 25 mil of A and B. We're gonna mix really well, that way our A and B is mixed, that way it will cure. If you do not mix A and B thoroughly, it will not cure, it will be very tacky. And that's not what you want. Make sure you get wipe the edges. I usually get whatever's on my stick off and then mix really well. sure this is nice and straight for you guys all right so now we're just going to go ahead and apply our epoxy evenly so this epoxy is self leveling so once you've covered the whole cup and it turns for a couple hours everything will start even out on the cup to where you don't have to worry about if it's covered everywhere. Sorry guys, I'm right-handed, so I should put the camera on the other side. <laughs> and it turned out really good. I'm excited for the ending result, which I will post on my Facebook. If you are not uh, following me on Facebook, do so because you can go into my videos and you will see any um, tumblers that we have made. They are all in the video section. I don't take pictures very often. I normally do videos just because um, I get a good um, view of the 
the cups when they're on the turner. So I really prefer to do videos. So if you just go right into the video section. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use all this epoxy because I wanna make sure that my mug here is full, fully epoxied and protected basically. You want your vinyl, everything to be protected. Make sure you get into the handles really well. Make sure you get your bottom. Now I'm gonna tell you on the bottom, if you don't make sure that you have an even coat, you will have a huge lump and then you're gonna have to sand your paper, your, sand your paper, sand your cup down on the bottom and then you're gonna have to do it all over again. So really make sure that you're layering even. Don't over coat the bottom because you don't want it to be, you know, lumpy. And you don't wanna have like one side too much because when it's turning, it's going where it needs it, but sometimes you can get too much on one side. I've done that before, I've had to sand cups. It's not fun. But you do what you gotta do for a perfect cup at the end. All right, so my whole cup is fully covered. I've used all my epoxy. And I'm just gonna go back and make sure that I don't have any epoxy like sitting in one spot. And then we're gonna give it a few minutes. I usually kind of let it sit for a minute. And then we're gonna put our heat torch on it to get all the bubbles out. There's not a whole lot of bubbles, but so any extra epoxy that really doesn't need to be on there will drip. And that's okay, it's a very small drip. It's not like it's the whole cup. So I hope you guys like this video. You do me a favor and subscribe if you are not subscribed already and share this video. You never know, you might have somebody that's looking to get some tips on how to do cups, um, how to apply epoxy, how to do start a new craft, you just never know. So um, click the notification bell, that way you can get notifications on my next video. And I want to thank everybody who has joined um, my YouTube page. I really appreciate it. And I hope that I'm giving you good contents. That way you guys are wanting to keep watching. All right. So I turned it back on because I'm going to just do a little torch to it. You guys thought I was gone, didn't you? <laughs> Never gone. So when you do the torch, you're gonna do it fast. You're gonna do it kind of even, do it away from it, because it's just the heat that you need. It's not, and you don't wanna burn your epoxy. So, and you'll notice, you'll see the bubbles start popping. Do your handle, do the bottom really well so that it's even. I'm doing this one a lot because I do have quite a bit of bubbles on this one. And I wanna make sure that everything is clear. So you'll see on the writing, you'll see the bubbles and it, it, the writing and everything will start clearing up. And that's it.